Wake up, Tucson. It's your town. Get up and get involved. It's Wake Up Tucson with Chris D. Simone and Joe Hagan. All right, Chris and Joe, let's go to uh, just finish up football with uh, County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning. How are you? Not morning. too bad. Good, good. I assume you knew John Roll. Uh, for uh, sure did. Uh, great guy. Uh, presided over a couple of trials. The county hand was always uh, decent and fair and uh, reasonable. And uh, I used to see him at the Y. Uh, you know, typi- yeah, he swam every Typically, day, yeah. he'd swim every day. When it got too cold in the winter, he'd come down there and swim. Everyone hangs out at the Y. I never, you know, everyone thinks there's all these other power. That's the power place. That is where it happens. The, the downtown Y, is that what we're talking about? Down, downtown Y. I mean, we had Tom Philobom here, and he's like, well, Chuck already prepped me about coming on your show. <laughs> he's, like, well, he's, my, he's my locker mate next right. door. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Well, Judge Roll would come fully dressed in the, in the suit for the day. Swim and go fully back in the suit for the day and go back out. That was that was his daily routine. So that's what he does. So Chuck, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Good so to you, be here. You guys uh, had your. Uh, we were there for your little budget discussion a couple of weeks ago. Very very interesting and and somewhat entertaining. That was a hot one. Yeah, you had the state, the state legislators there, Vic and uh, Ted Ted and and a little bit of a tit for tat and a day, uh, oh, know, we yeah. took my money yeah. and no, yeah. I didn't yeah. and we yeah. had to do this and we yeah. had to do that that was really fun yeah. it's only one percent it's seven percent right. no it's six percent <laughs> right. no who knows you know it's, uh, the i mean i give them credit for showing up yeah sure absolutely yeah. and i think they need to hear the kind of things that were said because basically it's too easy to get isolated in phoenix and basically get caught up in what's occurring up there and, and forget basically who put you in office yeah and, and then they talk about uh having an ongoing dialogue going forward so we'll see if yeah, that happens. We'll see. We'll see. Moving, we're, yeah. we're, uh, we think that would be one of the better things that could come out of that discussion. Yeah. When you ballpark um, what your revenue and your budget is going to be, what is the factors you use? Because everyone loves to come. We've talked about it. You've, I don't know if you heard me on the air talk about this. You know, you know Chris in his typical jaded way. You, you know, I understand we got valuations and we got tax rate. And everyone says, "Oh my God, how did this happen? How you know my thing's going down, but my t- my evaluation didn't go down, or my valuation's up?" And I always say, "Look, there's a magic number they need to run the county, and there's these two numbers <laughs> that get ways calculated, to get there, right? It's right. The value, the assessed rate, the, yeah. You know, am, am I am I being too jaded? What, what's well, the, what? well, yeah, you yeah, yeah, know, A times B does have to equal <laughs> That's C. That's what I'm saying. I mean, and uh, and and so we go. You know. One of the things that we balance our budget, uh, and 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 it's basically in the general fund, which is the oh the part of the budget that funds the criminal justice system has to be uh, basically funded by either the property tax or state shared revenues. Now we know where state shared revenues are. Sure, uh, you know they've been in the toilet now for three or four years. Then we also know, and we you know we do enough forecasting ahead of time, and it's not as if we're brilliant at it. It's just we know the property tax reacts very slowly over time. It takes about three years for a peak or a valley in, in the market to actually show up in the tax bills. And so because you're two years behind, typically. we're, we're typically count, yeah. two years behind. And then by statute, we we basically take the previous year's values on this year's budget. So right. we're, we're we're behind. Well, I think the frustrating part is for 06, 07, 08, we saw the run ups in values. Plus, think of all the inventory that came into the property tax base, all the new construction, all the new yep. retail centers, and then so a lot of money came in over those three years. And then when the when when the market comes down we're all expecting Oof, we can take a little break yep. but then the rate goes up so we've uh, you know looked at this over probably 20 and 30 years and we used to think a pretty healthy uh, increase in the valuation of the tax base is about three or four percent a year if it was three and four percent you know we were very happy uh, what we saw in the run-up in four five six and even partially into seven was unsustainable. It was we were seeing the tax base increase by fourteen percent. Yeah, never seen it happen before. And so it was clear something was was. Well, and you banked a, a bunch. You put a bunch in a, a reserve fund, thirty-seven million, and then uh, but a lot came in. We're, we're we're looking for the downside. We're looking for the yep. And we're in, we're in the downside now. We'll be in that downside slide for about three years. How how much are they pulling back? If it went fourteen percent, how far are we coming? Well, back? Well, we're we, we pulled back last year. We just you begin to see the turn of the of the Titanic yeah. Yeah. tax base, and it it went down 05 percent or half percent. This year it's down seven point two percent. Next year we forecast it to be down another five point three, and then the following year about three point two, three point one, 
And then about the fourth year out, maybe 15, 16, we don't know whether it be positive or a negative. It's, it's when we think that the tax base itself will hit bottom. Well, and they had a story in Phoenix about how construction isn't looked to rebound the job and the job sector for five years at least up in Phoenix. And then, then you look at what's the economic drivers that let people make money to buy homes. And so yep. you got that whole circulatory effect. Yep. So it's tough to go beyond 2016 and say, we're going to be buying homes again. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, the issue is, is you got to burn through the inventory right. and then you have to reinstill confidence that home ownership is, uh, you know, long-term good investment. Right. So it, it will probably be five years, maybe longer before you see any significant upturn in the housing market. You know, we're seeing it just kind of bump along the bottom. Right. Uh, we're issuing maybe 40 to 50 permits a month in the unincorporated area. And what was the peak? Well, you, I heard your statement you made one yeah, time. Yeah, like six, six or 700 wow. a month. And so we're down, you know, 95% of what we used to issue during the peak period of, say, 2005. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> of course it is. I guess my question is, when you, have a 14, when you, were you guys, when we were experiencing a 14% bump up, what was the size of Pima County government? Was it was it staying? Was it was it was it increasing single digits? Was it? You know? uh, it, it was and then pro- on the downside, yeah, 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 <laughs> has yeah, it reacted yeah, off right. of that? Yeah, it's probably been increasing. Uh, you know, during the the the, the peak times, of course, um, you know, it was increasing by the cost of living. There were raises being given, uh, a lot of things happening, and so our employment peaked in 2007 and 8 at about 8,300 employees. Uh, today, you know, three years later, we're down to 7,300. And uh, by the end of this year, we'll be below uh, 7,000. And so, you know, we're, we contract, uh, we grow slower and we contract slower uh, than typically market conditions so you, because you, that's just what, what we do. But we had that 14% run-up on the values. But think of all the new inventory that came into the system, all the new strip centers and the malls and the banks and the houses. So there's a whole huge, the base went up considerably. It was like $72 billion at one point. I'm, I'm not sure, what, in 08, I don't know what how it blew up, but... That's a big number to be pulling from. Yeah, and, and when we look at, you know, we look at assessed value, and, and we look at assessed value typically as, you know, it's a certain fraction of the market right. value. And uh, ours got up to, you know, nine and a half, uh, almost $10 billion in assessed value. And it's down into the, you know, $8 billion range hmm. and, and going south. And so it's going to go south until it, until it bottoms out at about $7 billion. Gotcha. Now, we had this discussion, um, I don't know, it was a month ago when um, it was an Inside Tucson business that did a listing of all the top employers in southern Arizona. And the number that Dave had in there was a lot different than the 7,000 you just gave me now. What, what's the discrepancy there? Well, the discrepancy is when the, the Arizona Daily Star comes in and they do their um, – Oh, they're star 200. Yep. And, and to put this in perspective, just some backstory, I think Dave had 8,700 or 8,200, and then the yeah. actual number is 7,700. So yeah. is that yeah. FTEs? or Yeah, I mean, FTEs. What we do is we budget full-time equivalent employees. And so when the star comes in and asks us for uh, how many employees did you employ during the previous year, what we end up doing is giving them uh, a list of everybody who got – a uh, W-2 or a 1099 from us uh, as an employee. Okay. And so what happens is you're going to see there's, you know, it's, it's how you compare it. You compare apples, do you compare oranges. For our budget purposes, we, we don't care at all about who got a, a W-2 or who got a 1099. What we're interested in is in our budget how many full-time equivalents because that's the control over department. They can never hire above their budget-approved FTE range. Gotcha. So, and and we're going to run a break here for a quick sec, but in talking about the chat yesterday where Mike Letcher put out the opinion that says we've eliminated 1,100 positions, and then on the chat conversation, Rob O'Dell asked him, well, how many people actually lost jobs or are not there? And he said 51 folks were laid off. Then there's attrition and other things, but, you know, we got to, we got to, Speak truth to what what this actually means. He makes it sound like they, they shaved the, the fifth of their right. employment, but it was basically one percent right. of their employment <laughs> right. went right. away. Those are the things that the voters look at and go, uh, "Come on, the, so. yeah, exactly." There's a whole difference between right. filled positions and actual right. people. All right, so in so employees that got W twos and ten ninety nines from the last fiscal year of Pima County, what's that magic number? Well, because we you know we haven't done it, it'll be it'll what be think? it'll be proportionally down by ten percent. Okay, for over it was. and the previous year was uh, previous year was, was probably 
oh, whatever, uh, the previous year was probably was, about 7,800. Okay. But we lost Pima Health Systems, and that was shifted over. We to lost Pima Health Systems. Jobs. That was 330-some jobs. We're about to, as you saw in the paper, Posada. sell Posada del Sol, and that's another 300 jobs. And so, uh, you know, in, in our development services department alone, it went from 184 employees down to about 56. All that was accomplished mostly through layoff. Okay. There you go. Seven eighteen in the morning. We'll get you getting some trying to get some facts here from Chuck, and you've you 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 have been very gracious about it. So thank you, sir. Seven eighteen in the morning. Chris and Joe, Pima County Administrator Chuck Huckleberry, Mick Jagger. How much? What? What more do you need? Seven nine zero two zero four zero. If you got a question for Chuck, 